two, one, action. Um, yeah, I've been uh, ranting. Uh, um, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm a, like about in a minority of about 2% of Americans that um, are outraged to where they're like kind of feel angry about same-sex marriage. Uh, I've been sorting it out in my head a little bit. Obama, they're accused, well, Newsweek accused, didn't they say Newsweek accused Obama of being gay? I don't know. But they, I mean, now, now the, the news is just as bad as that. Now, okay, so we got the gossip mongers, and then I was, I didn't even know Obama had done that, that he was getting ready to do that bill. I, I just was, just happened to be angry about gay marriages around that same week anyway but anyway are you, are you talking about the homosexual revolution that's going on that's been going on for a long time <laughs> a long Hold time your guys, please. She's, she was talking to me about the other two tell them about, tell them about the homosexual revolution like you were the internet poultry guys, lady. You mean a, a homosexual revolution? A homosexual revolution is now emerging in Washington and across America. In recent years, three prominent homosexual Washingtonians have contracted and died of AIDS. Terry Thornton head of the National Conservative Political Action Committee, and Dan J. Bradley, head of the Leftist Legal Services Corporation, and Representative Stuart McKinney. McKinney had two gay lovers who died of AIDS, and lived with a third for five years on Capitol Hill. A former congressman from Maryland a gay who was forced from office in the early 1980s when caught cruising for teenage boys. Why is it teenage boys all around in two years? Which is that? It's that's awesome. What happened? Gay scandal involving murder. I had to go use the restroom, I I remember getting the gay scandal. Uh, involved in murder. The other was got having sex with a 16 year old male page. And another was got having sex in a Capitol Hill men's room. And another got got with his male lover running a call for a girl running from his apartment. Why are these, yeah, why are they so wild, man? It seems that this last representative, Representative Bonnie Frank, the Democrats from Massachusetts, a long time homosexual, answered an ad in Washington's Gay Play newspaper. In 1985, the male prostitute who placed the ad that was, who was convinced, picked it in 1975 of cocaine distribution, and in 1982, on four counts of production, of obscene items involving a juvenile possession of obscene materials, oral sodomy, and possession of cocaine. Moved in with Congressman Frank for two years. Representative Frank had them on his payroll at $20,000 per year. That's not bad. It's not bad for getting blood plug $20,000 a year. Okay. Yeah. Now, why These are all state laws anyway, right? Apartment as a homosexual class, hetero heterosexual sex for hire, whole house. This, this, this bizarre story has become public. Liberal politicians have come to Frank's defense, telling him one of America's top, top congressmen, a great American leader, etc. The Congress. Congressional Ethics Committee gave him a minor slap on the wrist for his behavior, and he has continued as a powerful liberal leader in Congress. Well, 
Meanwhile, this homosexual cowboy lover is beginning to talk about other congressmen and senators who have been his customers for either male or female prostitutes at his Capitol Hill bordello. Gay activist leaders in Washington estimated that there are at least 30 homosexual congressmen on Capitol Hill. It seems that homosexual activity is rampant in Washington. Washington gay lobbyists even brought male prostitutes into the White House on four occasions for midnight tours. On July 11, 1990, the U.S. Senate voted to force restaurant owners to hire AIDS-infected homosexuals as food handlers. Yes, the Elms led to losing effort. The vote was 61-39. That's personal. 